And the Lord would say, Surely I have called you upward. I have called you to take you off this earth, off this ground, out of this uh, out of the mundane, out of the ordinary, out of the of the natural realm, and I want to take you with me into the supernatural realm, saith the Lord. I am here. My presence is here. Feel me today. Touch me today. For I am the one that will take care of you. I am the one that will provide for you. I am the one that will heal you. I am the one, saith the Lord. So hear me. Woo! Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad I'm here today. I'm glad to hear what the Spirit of the Lord would say unto us today. Hallelujah. Warriors, are you attentive today? Warriors, are you ready? Hallelujah. Warriors, soldiers of the cross, army of God, are you ready? In Jesus' name, no more messing around, no more playing around, no more uh, acting like a Christian, but not doing like a Christian. Oh, you may say that you're a believer, but are you doing what you believe in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. This message is about prayers for battle. There are many that are in chaos situations. They are in difficult situations. Many are going through divorce. Many have people that are sick in their families and they are sick themselves. Many have uh, rebellious children. Uh, many have uh, uh, thoughts of, of unworthiness and guilt and condemnation. But let me tell you something. That's why we need to pray. That's why we need to pray. You know, Brother Fred and I go where the Lord sends us, and he sends us to many places. And we just arrived back uh, this just a day or so ago from Cuba, where it is it was intense ministry, and it was powerful. And the students that we were teaching were committed and dedicated. And they were ready uh, to go and do whatever God wanted them to do. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. But let me tell you something. Oh, there's passion uh, in those people. Oh, that they, they are hungry and they are thirsty for the word of God. And, and God is filling them up. Oh, he abashalalabalalalidia. But let me tell you something. I want to thank every individual that God raised up to pray for us in Jesus' name. Because we are alive today because of those prayers. There were, there were, there was power and fire that flowed out of us. Oh, hallelujah, there was not a natural occurrence. It was a supernatural move of the Holy Spirit. Oh, in Jesus' name, thank you. Thank you, prayer warriors. Thank you for those that know how to pray and know how to go into battle. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you so much. Praise the name of Jesus. First Thessalonians 5.17 says, that we are to pray without ceasing. We are to pray without ceasing. That means that we have an attitude of prayer that is within us 24-7. 24-7 so that at 2 a.m. in the morning or 3 a.m. in the morning, I know a person who gets up so very early and walks the streets of his city praying and interceding and having spiritual encounters uh, with the Holy Spirit and with those that need to hear the Word of God. Hallelujah. How many of you have that kind of a commitment? I'll praise the name of Jesus. Pray without ceasing. 
And then in Philippians 4, 6, it says, don't be anxious for anything. Don't be anxious. But in everything. What? In everything. By prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. And then, of course, we know Ephesians 6.18. And we'll get more into this in a few moments. But it says, this is the last piece of the armor of God. Now, what God spoke to me about this message was that it was going to impact your life. And that you would not be the same after this message if you will receive by the Spirit of God what He is saying to you. Because He is speaking to many of you. And this, in Ephesians 6.18, it says, Praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit. In the Spirit, capital S, that is the Holy Ghost. Now, what he spoke to me was that when we begin to pray this, this prayer in Ephesians, or when we begin to put on the armor of God, that we have entered and immersed ourselves in the presence of Almighty God. Oh, hallelujah. We take on the Father. Praise the name of Jesus. Can you can you see that? Can you see yourself being dipped like, like a chocolate bar into the chocolate? And you come out and you're all chocolate all over. Oh, hallelujah. That's what it is. When you, when you put on the whole armor of God, he dips you into him. Hallelujah. And when you come forth, when you emerge, hallelujah, then, oh, he's all over you. Oh, he's all over you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Be watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, we want to be in you. We want to be in you so that he covers us. Well, Psalms 91 is a very powerful battle prayer. Oh, hallelujah. In the first verse, it says that we're going to stay hidden in him. What does that mean? That means we're going to be immersed in him. We're going to be in, in him. Hallelujah. In him we live and move and have our being. Oh, he is our hiding place and he is underneath his wings. There is a, a protection and a covering. Can you say amen? And then in Jude 20. But you, beloved, building yourself up on your most holy faith. And we're going to get to that in a few moments. Praying in the Holy Spirit. You know, I've had people tell me, oh, I don't need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I don't need any more of the Lord. I don't need to pray in tongues. So I'm not interested in that. But let me tell you something. The seed, baby Jesus, on the inside will not grow without being watered and nurtured and fertilized by the Holy Spirit. And when every time this is what build yourself up on your most holy faith, what does that mean? Build up Jesus on the inside of you. See, we don't live by our faith, we live by his faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be in Him. I want to be immersed in Him. And I want the seed on the inside of me to grow and grow and grow until the maturity and into the full stature of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So every time you pray in the Spirit, every time you pray in tongues, you're feeding 
Are you hearing me? You are feeding the seed. You are feeding the the, uh, the Christ man on the inside of you. And the more you pray in tongues, the more he will grow. And he will grow, and he will grow, and he will grow. Praise the name of Jesus. That's when we can be the prayer warriors and that we can go onto the battlefield and and get the victory. Hallelujah. Do you need victory today? Do you need breakthrough today? Do you need healing in your body today? Do you need uh, for things to change in your life? Hallelujah then you need to be feeding that spirit man. You need to be praying in tongues. Hallelujah. You know, the Apostle Paul said, I pray in tongues more than all, the, all of you. And he needed to. Because the Christ man needed to grow in him to fulfill his purpose and to fulfill his destiny. Hallelujah. And that's you. That's me. I want to fulfill purpose. I want to fulfill destiny. Hallelujah. I do not want to leave this earth before my time. I want to finish my course in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Ephesians 6, 12, it says that we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. We are not on the battlefield with flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness of this age, and against the spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places. Now, there are three heavens. Let me just quickly go through this. The first heaven is where we see the stars and the moon and the sun. That's the firmament. And then we go into the second heaven. How do I know there's three heavens? It's because Paul, the apostle Paul, says he was taken to the third heaven. Now, let me just give you an experience while we were in Cuba. We prayed for the students at the end and, and blessed them with the word of God. And, and then they wanted to pray for us. And so all of the of those, the ministers that, that came to, to help with the school, um, we were just there in front of them. And they began to pray over us. And as they began to pray over us, I began to weep and cry, and, and I looked up, and the heavens opened up, and I saw Jesus. I saw his face. I saw his body. Hallelujah. The heavens were opened up. I am telling you that you can go into that place. Prayer warriors, I am telling you as you pray and as you go onto the battlefield that Jesus will be with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, touch us today. Touch us, those that are watching from all over the world, Lord. Touch them in the name of Jesus that we might change that we might be changed from glory to glory. I cry out for the people, Lord. I cry out for those that are going through battles right now. Lord, raise up prayer warriors that know how to go into battle. Hallelujah. It says that we're not going to wrestle with flesh and blood, with, but with the evil. Now, it's going to take warrior faith to do that. I'm not talking about just ordinary faith. I'm talking about warrior faith. Faith that is violent. The violent take the kingdom by force. Those that are full of power. Those that are full of energy. Those that are not just praying for 30 minutes when they get up and they think that they've done their duty and, 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 and they go on about their agenda and their schedule and what they want to do and the mundane things of this world. Let me tell you something. You know, you've got to get beyond that. You've got to go beyond that if you want victory in your life. 
if you want victory for your children and your grandchildren and those that are that are around you, let me tell you something. You've got to get above all of that garbage. All of the things that are going on in the natural realm can be changed when a prayer warrior uses their faith. Are you hearing me today? Hear me, saith the Lord. In James 5, 13 through 16, is anyone among you suffering? Then let them pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let them sing songs. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. I'm talking about warrior faith. I'm not talking about someone that has doubt and unbelief. I'm not talking about someone that says, oh, I have an unspoken request. No! Let's speak it out! And let's get rid of it. Let's burn it up in the name of Jesus. It says, let them anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith, a warrior's faith, will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. Hallelujah. And if he has committed sins, it will be forgiven. They will be forgiven. Confess your faults one to another. Pray for one another that you might be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man, a righteous person, avails much. That's a, that's a prayer that's full of the faith of Jesus. And full of fire, full of passion. Hallelujah. You know, that's what I saw in, in Cuba. And this was a, a, many times we've done schools and and there have been older pastors and, and, and that's wonderful to have, have them come and, and hear a fresh word and, and have uh, received fresh anointing and but these were young people. These were young married couples. These were uh, young people in their their 20s and, and they were so ready. They were ready, they were listo. They were ready to receive everything that God had for them. Hallelujah. And ready to go wherever he sent them. In Mark 11, 22 and 23, familiar to all of us, oh, Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. But there's another translation that says, have the faith of God. Hallelujah. The creative power that God has also belongs to you. In Jesus' name. For assuredly, I say unto you, Whosoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things which he says, it will be done. He will have whatever he says. Now, I'm talking to prayer warriors today. Oh, hallelujah. Prayer for battles. And I'm telling you, this when you speak the word of God. Now, this is one another thing that the Holy Spirit showed me, and that is that it the, your prayer needs to have the Word and the breath of God in it. Now, the breath of God is the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. And so, oh, praise the name of Jesus. So in Romans 10, 8 through 10, now, many times we use this scripture for salvation purposes, but it's so much more than that. It's so much richer than that. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. Prayer warriors, when you pray, when you go onto the battlefield, is the word of God in your mouth, hallelujah, and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth, if you say out of your mouth, 
at the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Oh, hallelujah. But that's not only you. That's not just for salvation. That means saved out of anxiety, saved out of depression, saved out, out of cancer, saved out of, of any type of disease or sickness, anything. Hallelujah. Financial poverty or financial lack, whatever it is, you will be saved. If the word of God comes out of your mouth and it's mixed with the breath of God, the Spirit of God, He has given you that word, hallelujah, and you speak it out of your mouth, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that much richer? For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So you can change your situation right now, today, in Jesus' name. What are you speaking out of your mouth? What are you declaring and decreeing out of your mouth? Is it the Word of God mixed with the Holy Spirit? Now, what, is, what does that really mean? It means that you, you're going to be led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, nothing changed in the life of our oldest son. For 22 years, my husband prayed. Brother Fred prayed. He prayed for our son. I prayed for our son. But nothing changed until God gave us, by the Spirit, a scripture a scripture, and it changed our mindset. We have to have a warrior mindset. We have to have warrior faith, and we have to have warrior mindset. In Philippians 3.15, it says, Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, listen to that. Have you fed your spirit man today? You know, we feed our bodies three times a day. Woo, Hallelujah. Daniel went to his window, and he threw up the window, and he prayed three times a day. Praise the name of Jesus. Are you feeding your spirit man three times a day by praying in tongues? Oh, hallelujah. Therefore, let as many as are mature have this mind. Oh, hallelujah. And if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal this unto you. It says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus had a warrior mindset. He was a warrior. And God is a warrior. And you are a prayer warrior. Hallelujah. You know, prayer is, is the greatest weapon that we have. Oh, hallelujah, when you go on the battlefield, oh, praise is another one. But that this, this message is about a prayer. This is about bringing forth the will of God into the earth. Hallelujah. Philippians 4, 8. Now I'm talking about a warrior's mindset. Finally, brethren, think on these things. What are you thinking about today? Are you thinking about things that are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, of good report, if there, if there be any power and if there be any praise, think on these things. Hallelujah. We need to have a warrior mindset. I believe that, that I wake up doing war. I think about war during the day. I think about those that are going through battles right now that need help with 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 maintaining their faith and maintaining their their strength in the name of Jesus Colossians 3:3 3, 3 says for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ oh praise the name of Jesus praise the name of Jesus you're to stay hidden in Christ Jesus 
And then in 1 John 4, 7, we can see this verse come alive in us. 1 John 4, 17. Love has been made perfect among us in this, that we have boldness in the day of judgment. Hallelujah. Now, a prayer warrior's faith and a prayer warrior's mindset leads them to a, a war prayer that is effective and brings judgment on the head of the enemy. Because, now listen to this. Because as he is, so are we in this world. You know, Jesus is ever interceding for us. Did you know that? He is ever interceding for us. And he does it through prayer warriors. Through those that are willing to lay down their lives and pray. Oh, in Jesus' name. that are willing to go on the battlefield and begin to bring judgment on the head of the enemy. That's when you become as he is. Now, I'm going to go back to the story about my oldest son. My husband, Brother Fred, went to the courts of heaven and he received a judgment from the Lord. And it was a verse. Isaiah, what, 49? 49, verses 24 and 25. Verses 24 and 25. Isaiah 49, verses 24 and 25. It says that although your son may be a captive or a legal captive, I will deliver him. And when Brother Fred and I began to pray that scripture over our oldest son, God stepped in. He came onto the battlefield with us. Hallelujah. Oh, shut up. Hallelujah. He came on the battlefield. If you want God to come on the battlefield with you, then you need that verse. You need that scripture. Hallelujah. That will give you victory. God changed our son. That was, and the, the police came and got him and put him in jail. And he was facing eight years of prison. But no. God delivered him. God delivered him. And now today he is free. He is delivered. He is set free to worship the Lord. Set free and he's serving the Lord today. In the name of Jesus, we give the Lord all the praise and all the glory. But you see, that's, that's the prayer that we need when we go into battle. We need a verse we, that will cut the head off of the snake. Some of you have been pry, playing around with a snake by the tail, and it will come back to bite you. Let me tell you something. You have to cut the head off of the snake. In the name of Jesus, bring judgment on the head of the enemy, and that stops him. Oh, hallelujah, and it brings victory to you. Are you listening today? This message is, is a message of importance. This message is for the whole body of Christ. Because to be, to be, to survive in the days that are coming upon this earth, we must know about being a prayer warrior. Hallelujah. Now, let's talk just a minute. I know it's, our time is, is going. Strategic prayers, they hit the mark. That's the definition of a strategic prayer. It hits the mark. Hallelujah. It doesn't go around it. For instance, I got a prophetic word several years ago that said my prayers were like shooting a shotgun. I had a weapon, yes, but the I, I was it was a shotgun in the and the it went everywhere. 
Sometimes it hit the mark. Sometimes it didn't hit the mark. But strategic prayers are prayers that snipers pray. Oh, hallelujah, that prayer warriors, that they hit the mark every time. Hallelujah. In the Amplified Bible, Matthew 28, 18 says, Jesus came up to them and said, All authority, all power of absolute rule in heaven and in earth has been given unto me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then he turns and he gives it to all of us. He gives that authority to bring judgment on the head of the enemy through his word and through his spirit, the word and the breath of God coming together. Hallelujah. That is a strategic prayer. In John 16, 8 through 11. Now this is the Holy Spirit. It's talking about the job of the Holy Spirit. And when he comes, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness. He will teach you about righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. So we need to... We need to understand and learn and know and walk in righteousness. And then verse 11 of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you ready to bring judgment on the head of the enemy? Are you on the battlefield today and you need a verse, you need a scripture, then you need to pray in tongues and feed your spirit man, and God will give you that verse. Just like he gave me when I was diagnosed uh, almost 30 years ago with terminal cancer of the thyroid, he gave me a verse. He gave me the judgment to speak on, on the head of the enemy, hallelujah, to cut off the snake's head. And it was Psalms 118, verse 17. You shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. I, I see some of you leaping up and down. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. You go right ahead and weep. Oh, <laughs> right ahead and weep and leap. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. In Matthew 6, 9 through 13, I'm bringing this to closure. It says, in this manner, therefore pray. And this is the, the most powerful prayer in the Word of God. Jesus said, if you want to know how to pray, this is how you pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. We're going to honor you today, Father. We're going to love you today, Father. We're going to worship and bow down to you, Father. We're going to submit ourselves unto you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to resist the devil, and we're going to, he's going to flee from us. Hallelujah. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth, not ours. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Hallelujah, you're going to feed us today, Lord. You're going to feed us. Well, he's given us the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. And I cannot get away from that, from that thought that he gave me this morning. And that was when you pray, every time you pray in tongues, you're feeding your spirit man. Oh, hallelujah. And he's going to grow and he's going to grow and mature and, and come into the full stature of Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? It says, give us our food today, Lord, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. We're going to forgive, Lord, so that you will forgive us. Whoo, powerful. Some people just quote this and, you know, they stand up and they quote it at, on their, uh, their services and, and, you know, that's all it is to them. No, this is a battle prayer right here. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for delivering us, Lord. For yours is the kingdom 
and yours is the power, and yours is the glory forever. Amen. Jesus, pray this way. Pray this, this prayer. Hallelujah. This prayer is a prayer for battle. And it will bring victory. Oh, in Jesus' name. In Romans 8, 14, it says, For many are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Oh, come on now. Come on now. I said, it's the word and the breath of God on the battlefield that will bring you victory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for all of those that are in battle right now. Lord, battle that they're on the battlefield right now, that you will give them the judgment to speak over the head of the enemy and that the snake's head will be cut off in the name of Jesus. I speak against and then come against any, uh, any pride. Oh, in Jesus' name, Lord, let us walk in your grace. I, I pray for those that are sick today. In Jesus' name, and those with with uh, blood diseases, those with a heart disease, uh, those that have some type of thing going on with their with their nervous system and their uh, their nerves, and they're anxious and they're they have panic attacks. And Lord, I come against that that spirit, and I say, be gone in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let us. Be warriors of prayer. Let us take the kingdom by force, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let us take back our families. Let us take back our marriages. Let us take back our bodies. Let us take back our minds. Take back our our uh, 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 enthusiasm, our joy, our peace, our passion, Lord. Oh, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray for the pastors of Romania right now in the Jesus' name. The Lord would say unto you, pastors of Romania, oh, hallelujah, that he has come to you many times and he has fought for you and he says, I'm going to continue to fight for you. So raise your banners high. For my banner over you, Romania, is love in Jesus' name. God bless you today.